Unity Live Event Lighting Episode 4 How to Create a Basic Light with C Sharp Programming. Now, this is really awesome stuff. I'm very excited to show you. Now, if you've never done C Sharp Programming, you're just gonna have to turn this video off and never look at it again. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna show you step by step how to do this. Are you crazy? Of course, uh, I'm not gonna leave you alone with this. There's no no crazy thinking involved here. All you need to do is copy what's on screen and you will see the result and then you will understand how coding manipulates the lights in a scene. Let's go down to our scripts folder and right click and create a C-sharp script and let's call it lighting. This script we're gonna edit with Visual Studio. But before then, let's go back to our scene and let's create a game object that's gonna house the script and keep it live in the scene. So let's create a object called Spotlight Mark and then we're also gonna create a light manager. Now drag the script onto the light manager, then you can see it in the inspector and you can open from there. Here's where we're gonna start writing our script, okay? And the double slashes green means it's a comment. It's not part of the script. And I wrote comments for everything that happens so you can understand what's going on. So first, we need to reference the marker where we want our light to be pointing, okay? The second variable that we're gonna create is the transform of our spotlight, and you're gonna see later on why this is important. Now, go down into the void start, okay? Void start is the part of the script that starts when it's called upon, and then void update is the part of the script that refreshes every frame. So the first thing to create the light is we make a game object. Game object spotlight A equals a new game object spotlight A. The second part is we connect the light to look at the mark. Spotlight A transform equals spotlight A dot transform. So now that's hooked up. Next, let's add the light component to our game object. Light spotlight A equals spotlight A dot add component light. And then at the end, the two parentheses is initializing this component onto this game object spotlight A. Now when we make a light, it's going to be automatically a point light. So now, let's change the light from a point light to a spotlight by typing spotlight a dot type equals light type dot spot. Next, we want to create a light position variable. So a vector three is the x, y, and z coordinates. And so we call that a vector three, and we're gonna call that specifically spotlight a position. Then we're gonna choose the position of the spotlight by typing spotlight a position equals new vector three, and then x, y, and z coordinates go within the parentheses. And further under that, now we're gonna change the position to match, okay? So spotlight a dot transform dot position equals spotlight a position. And for the finale of our first script, go to the void update. So this updates every 60 frames per second or whatever frames per second I set it at. So we want spotlight a transform dot look at and then the light marker. So the spotlight transform is going to look at our designated marker. Now when we finish a script and we go back into Unity, it's going to compile the script. So if we had any errors, Unity will tell us right there. 
And here we can go to the light manager and we see that we need the light marker. So drag the spotlight mark onto the light manager area. And now let's start up our project. So we created this light out of code and I can move it around during runtime. And then when I turn off runtime, it disappears. Now, I just wanted to show you that real quick that I'm gonna go back into my script and I'm actually gonna choose a good position, a, a position that would actually be beneficial, not just that zero, zero, zero. So I go back and it reloads the script and then I just have to hit the play button again or control or command P to play your scene. Here you can see that our light is looking at the spotlight and now that we have like, now that we have lights going on, I wanna go over to the directional light and what I like to do is not delete it, but I wanna turn it to be kind of like a sunset so we can really focus on the lights that we're working on in the scene. So I'm gonna just rotate my directional light and it's gonna act like the sun. Now when I play and I go back, I can now move my light around during the play and I can see that it's always gonna be pointing at our marker. So that is how we're gonna create a light with C-sharp scripting. It's really, really cool. It's extremely powerful. All right, so if you enjoyed this content, please help out my channel with a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.